third. Four and a half by two, the margins. Now, please note that margin is one and a half by two. The margin is one and a half by two. Having a bit of problem with the semaphore board today. The Galar's got into it. A length and a half by two, the margins. They're off this time, and Shazam, one of the best out. Stan Firm and Omar Zam jump well, and so did Hickey Park, and then exploding success, followed by our Siam. Baron Shelley, then Silverton Road. The favourite is next, Brief Promise, four behind her. Diabolical Apache King and Shoeshine Man, the grey Omar Zam, the leader. And as they complete just over 300 metres, it's Omar Zam taken on and headed by Silverton Road. Exploding success, third, Hickey Park, fourth, followed by Stan Firm. A length further back is Shazam, then Baron Shelley, our Siam, about three off to Brief Promise. And then Diabolical on the outside of Apache King, and as they string out Shoeshine Man last, 15 lengths off the lead occupied by Silverton Road. Heading to the 1200 along the back of the Rose Hill Gardens race course, and Silverton Road making play about a length and three quarters on Hickey Park. The Queenslander hunted a hard into second, Posse, third exploding success from Omar Zam. A length and a half Shazam, who's travelling on the outside of Stan Firm and two Baron Shelley. A similar margin then, two at the head of the others. The well tried hours. I am, and another two lengths behind it is Brief Promise, then Diabolical, followed on the fence, Apache King, and Shoeshine Man whips them in. They're on the side, 700 to go, and Silverton Road from Hickey Park, exploding success, Omar Zam, and then Shazam, followed on the inside by Stan Firm, a length further back is our Siam from Baron Shelley, and Wonder Brief Promise being called upon now is starting to make ground right around the outside, then Apache King, Diabolical, and Shoeshine Man as last as they set sail for the judge. Silver Silverton Road in front of the Queenslander, Hickey Park, exploding success. And then Omar Zam, Baron Shelley and Brief Promise are starting to join in. And then comes on the outside, Shoeshine Man, but Brief Promise hits the lead now. The favourite draws clear past the 200. A length on Hickey Park, Apache King and then Shoeshine Man. Apache King coming it after Brief Promise. Brief Promise getting the stitch. Apache King claims the favourite. And Apache King came away to beat Brief Promise and Hickey Park. And then came our Siam, followed by Shoeshine Shoeshine Man, Baron Shelley next, followed the Diabolical Silverton Road exploding success, Omar Zam, Stand Firm, and Shazam was last. Six Apache King at 6.22 even, three Brief Promise at dollar seventy, nine Hickey Park, 9.50, treble 476, $747.20. Race for Adelaide, one Bretchen Bay, 8.32.90. Two Royal Millionaire, 542 even. Three Gallery, 762.50. Four Polar Sun, 1083.40. Five Dry Shane, 1110350. Six Burning Palms, the Sub and the Treble, 281 even. Seven Rainbow Tie, 17 and 4. Eight Hewler Lad, 67 and 23. Nine King Talak, 78 and 23. Ten Lord Zenobia, 128 and 40. Eleven Rhythmic Bow, 51 and 14. 12, Stella Volante, 26 and 7, and 13, Turbo, 18 and 4. Favourite 6, Burning Palms, 281 even. Tips are 2, Royal Millionaire from 6 and 3. Late Mail Special, 6 for the 4th Adelaide. A Ford at 168.70, and the Superfecta numbers are 639, 27 and 10. 639, 27 and 10. Okay, well, the, the might and power team combining there as far as uh, owner and trainer are concerned, Nick Moratis and Jack Denham, Apache King, little out of his depth here in a welter last start uh, behind Zanetta. Does that further highlight Zanetta's uh, chances in the Christmas Cup later? To on the water. Off and running, cave side Cannibal uh, didn't handle the start too well. They've jumped in a pretty good line with the exception of that one and Gullible out quickly with the Man Bay Prince whizzing up on the outside. The Man Bay Prince led up from Gullible and quickly Raw Blue went up third. Fourth is Euro Dancer, fifth ruling region, two for the back, Mikel Mar. 
Then hot taste from Defence Force for the back. Let's cut loose. Bello Signora mile back settling down from Caveside Cannibal. Piper's Piper followed for the back by City of Gold and visual displays. Must be 18 lengths off the lead. The Bambo Prince at the 900 metre mark by two lengths and had gone pretty hard early. Gullible on the outside of Euro Dancer. Three further back. Raw Blue the Grey. A length in the outside. Ruling region two or three. Hot taste. McAlmar the inside. Two to Defence Force. Let's cut loose. Bello Signora about 12 to 15 lengths off them from Caveside Cannibal. City of Goal well back in the race with visual displays and Piper's Piper. On the turn, moving off the fence, a Mambo Prince straight in a length and a half gullible. The inside Euro Dancer 2 to Raw Blue. To the outside of it, ruling region, a gap in the race, McKelmar. Bello Signor still about 8 or 10 lengths off them. Gullible going up to the leader, the Mambo Prince of the 300. 2 to ruling region, followed by Raw Blue. Visual displays from the back of the field are starting to get home down the outside. Ruling region going up now to Gullible. 2 to Royal Blue. Bello Signor with a late run now, starting to come home, but laying in badly. Ruling region hit the lead. Bello Signor won't go straight from visual displays and Royal Blue and ruling region has won nearly a length Ballet Senor just wouldn't go straight again today and I think it's just grabbed second from Royal Blue and visual displays out wider further back to Fence Force McCalmar from Gullible let's cut loose and then came uh, Piper's Piper Mambo Prince dropped right out followed by City of Gold the gap then to Hot Taste further back in the race Euro Dancer and Caveside Cannibal three ruling region 310 150 five Bella Senor 150 one Royal Blue 390 on Super Tab number three, ruling region, 2190 and 570, five Bello Signor, 160, one Royal Blue, 280, the treble, four, three and three, 1,513 even. Arriving at the start, Queenbian in the Cricket Australia, all out, 441. All out for 441. The last batsman out was Glenn McGrath for four. Our race four in Brisbane, one Rapid Man, 9.34.20. Two Foscat, 7.22.40. Three Great Crusader, 4.31.70. Four out. Five Woodslot, 37.9. Six Yoruba, 16.3. Seven out. Eight Cresta, 30.7. Nine Lunchtime Blues, 7.11.180. Ten My Tempest, 24.5. Eleven. That's it. Starter goes up. This is race four. Away they go. Now, casino style stood in the stalls, was slowly away, as was Nodak and Wyvernhoe Bloom. And from the outside, going very, very quickly, was Ace Diver. Ace Diver raced away about two in front of Lethal Eyes, followed by Sports Girl running third. In behind those as they settled down was Lightning Quest on the outside of its stable made bronze. A further break behind those then uh, came down on the inside, Wyvernhoe Bloom, and then Kaluna Miss on the outside. Well back was Casino Style, followed by Nodak and Ramblin' Rudy's last. As they race up towards the turn, Ace Diver's well clear. Ace Diver swings around the turn about four in front of Lethal Eyes. A length and a half behind those then Sports Girl further back to Lightning Quest. Followed then by Kaluna Miss and a break then Bronze. Followed then by Wyvernhoe Bloom down on the inside and further back in the field Casino Style. But as they race inside the 200, Ace Diver's the leader running on fairly well Lethal Eyes. And Sports Girl down the outside is putting in a run but still it's Ace Diver the leader. Now Wyvernhoe Bloom is coming late on the scene. Wyvernhoe Bloom has raced up and hit the lead and Wyvernhoe Bloom. Wyvernhoe Bloom, a very good win indeed. Now, second ace diver just in front of Lethal Eyes. In behind those then, Casino Style followed by Lightning Quest. Then Sports Girl, further back in the field, then came Bronze. Then Nodak, further back then, Kaluna Miss. And uh, the last one to pull up was Ramblin' Ruby. Well, that was a very impressive win by Wyvernhoe Bloom. Wyvernhoe Bloom missed the jump, was a long, long way back, settling down, but has swamped them in the run to the line. And written by Michael Ward. Number 10, the winner, Wyvernho Bloom, a winning double to Michael Ward. Wyvernho Bloom is trained by Gary Clark at Queenbian. Good on you, Gary. The numbers are 10, 2 and 5. Ace Diver had the race won, but Wyvernho Bloom has finished far too strongly. Number 2, Ace Diver, second, Brad Johnson. And third, number 5, Lethal Eyes, written by Paul Rose. So the numbers on the fourth, 10, 2, 5, 59, 40 the time. So the numbers are 10, 2, 5, 9, 4. 10, 2, 5, 9, 4. They're off. 
Subtle jump nicely from the inside and away very, very well too was Lavaga Jazz. Going up is Shigeru Magic Romp, double Del Mary very wide out, followed by Delilah, Gregor Del next to last and last of all another length back fashion file. Subtle kept on us by Lavaga Jazz, double Del Mary and Shigeru Magic Romp almost four in line. And as they come along past the 700, it's Subtle given a bit more rain, three quarters to a length, Lavaga Jazz, Shigeru Magic Romp, Delilah, double Del Mary tending to lose ground now from Gregor Del and just over a length of fashion file. It's subtle leading coming onto the corner. Um, the break about three quarters of a length on Lavaga Jazz. On the inside, Gregor Dell poking through, waiting for the run. Shigeru Magic Romp wider from Double Del Mary. Try to hold the Lila in the pocket cut and fashion five of the outside. Subtle down to the 250, kicked away. It's subtle about two lengths. Shigeru Magic Romp, Gregor Dell. This lead is going particularly well. Subtle right up against the inside rail. Fuller running. Gregor Dell second. Then Shigeru Magic Romp, fashion file, but subtle and some nice bets. It's subtle. Rail like the former champion Greyhound zoom top and won easily. Subtle beat Gregor Dell and Shigeru Magigron fashion file the Vaga Jazz double Dalmeri and Delilah's run was short-lived and she finished stone Number three, subtle right up against the aluminium. Number three, subtle written by Rodney Quinn. Didn't come around a horse from the rails gate and landed some nice bets in returning $2.70 and $1.80 winning double to Crown Lodge. Crawl won the second, and Subtle has scored here and scored well. On Super Tab 3, Subtle, 261.50. Six, Gregadell, 280, no third for one, Shigaroo Magic Rom. Race five at Morfordville, number one. Racing, uh, yes, he's got away with them, Sugar Shock. He's gone away with them. And Babetto bounced quickly with Knock Row. And Sugar Shock is actually showing some speed to go up and to head them off. Sugar Shock, after giving trouble at the gates, led early. Magic Pressure is going forward up outside him now from Knock Row and Babetto. Two further back, another chance, followed by King's Landing. Further back was Jamestown, Listening's Joy, and then Litmus. Well back was Telek Toff, and last of all is Cyrinelle. They go to the 1550 metre mark, and the leader Sugar Shock over on the inside, nearly two lengths in front. Magic Pressure is up running second, a length and a half knock row. Fourth, the outside, Babetto. Two further back, Listening's Joy, King's Landing, and three deep, another chance. Two lengths to Jamestown, who's got three behind him, knock row, followed by Telek Toff. And two to Cyrano Glass of all. At Chiquita Lodge at the 12.50. Sugar Shock in front today by two lengths. Second Magic Pressure. Two lengths to Knock Row. A half for Beto. Two for the back. Listening's Joy. Another chance is out three deep. King's Landing back in the middle. Two to Jamestown. One Litmus. Three quarters. Talek Toff. And two last of all. Cyrano. At the 1,000 metre mark, and Sugar Shock on top here, led by a length from three quarters, two and second placing Magic Pressure. They're followed third, Knock Row, on the outside of it, Babetto. Another chance is having a tough run outside King's Landing, the fence, Listening's Joy. Three further back, Jamestown, followed by Litmus, then Talek Toff and two to Cyrinelle, Glass of all. Running up towards the 700 metre mark, Sugar Shock three quarters in front from Magic Pressure. Going up third, Babetto, they're followed further back by Knock Row. Uh, back behind the field, then coming to the turn as Jamestown putting in a run. On the bend, they race Sugar Shock from Magic Pressure. A length further back in the race, Babetto. Down the middle is Jamestown. They're followed by Listening's Joy, and then Knock Row and Lithmus back to the inside from Talaktoff, who's pulled out wide. Sugar Shock, a half in front of Magic Pressure. Babetto and Jamestown coming down the outside. Sugar Shock at the 200 metre mark, three quarters in front. Jamestown starting to charge on the outside. He's finishing well. Listening's Joy and Magic Pressure back in the middle. Sugar Shock, a half in front. Front, Jamestown wearing it down out wide. Listening's Joy back in the middle. Jamestown, Listening's Joy close. Listening's Joy and Jamestown hit it together over Sugar Shock right on the line. Further back in the race then uh, came Babetto followed by Magic Pressure. Litmus behind those, a gap, another chance followed by Cyrinelg. Then King's Landing, Telek Toff and Knock Row back near the tail. Photo just jumped Quimbian. Uh, that speed attack there was dating Stella. Then Templeton getting up along the inside, followed by Fontaine Bell Suntai. And about three or four. Circumstance last of all. A good race for the lead as they race past the 800. Red Mill on the inside shares the lead with Tri Triline. They're at about two and a half in front of Intrepid Step. Dating Stella, followed by Templeton. Then Plumenel Brumer down towards the inside. Further back behind those, Fontaine Bell. A break of about a length and a half then.
Now they're all in here, all in Queen Bean. Stand by for a start. The line is set. And away they go. Now slowly away with Circumstance and getting out quickly was Intrepid Step. Now Red Mill goes up along the inside looking for the lead and try line not too far away. And also Plumenel Brimmer dropping off uh, that speed attack there was Dating Stella. Then Templeton getting up along the inside followed by Fontaine Bell Suntai. And about three or four Circumstance last of all. A good race for the lead as they race past the 800. Red Mill on the inside shares the lead with Try, try Line. They're at about two and a half in front of Intrepid Step. Dating Stella followed by Templeton. They're then Plumenel Brumer down towards the inside. Further back behind those Fontaine Bell, a break of about a length and a half, then Suntai, and two off circumstance last of all. Uh, these pair are chopping at one another as they race up towards the turn. It's Red Mill on the inside, racing to the lead as they swing round the turn. On the outside was Tryline, further back behind those, then Intrepid Step, and a further break to Templeton, followed then by Plumenel Brumer, then dating Stella, well back Fontaine Bell as they race down towards the 200. Red Mill is the leader, a length in front, having another go was Tryline, and here Intrepid Step coming down the centre. It's Red Mill taken and by Intrepid Step out wide. Red Mill and Intrepid Step. Intrepid Step is coming home a shade the better. Another win to Michael Ward. Intrepid Step first, Red Mill second. Now third, Tri Line, followed then by Templeton and further back in the field, Fontaine Bell. The next one was uh, Suntai, followed by Plumenel Brumer. And the last pair, Circumstance and Dating Stella. Oh, he's riding in top form, Michael Ward. Intrepid Step. Number four, a winning treble to Michael Ward. Number four, intrepid step. Michael Ward finished too strongly, has beaten a red mill, ridden by Brett Johnson, and number three, try line, Ray Silburn, third. The numbers will read 413, 1, 10, the time. Intrepid step finishing just a shade too strongly for red mill, with try line battling away in third place. Intrepid Step set off the pace. Well, Red Mill and Tryline took one another on out in front, and this gave the sit to Intrepid Step. Intrepid Step, a winning treble to Michael Ward, and the winner trained by Mick Smith at Bungendore, a chestnut gelding six by Newley out of Superior Gold, and is raced by MW and Mrs. M.A. Smith. Was a good second at Queenbian. Last start behind lovely Doreen, and of course, Lovely Doreen made that form look good by winning in Sydney midweek. So the numbers are official here. Four, one and three. Good run first up by Red Mill. How embarrassing. Kelvin Sanderson. And they're off in the festival. San Rosa last out in Verino. Is the early leader. Don't disturb, will take it on and head it now. Third, Posse is the Rafi Gartas. And then comes Sorrento on the outside of San Rosa. About three or four lengths to Reasons and one and a half pursuits. Don't disturb in front going down to the 1200. So after 300, don't disturb a length on Verino. Gartas third. Inclined to over race a fraction from San Rosa. Then Sorrento another two lengths away. Ryder's got a good grip on her. A length to Reasons and two lengths pursuits. This is the order as they run around the first corner and go to the 900 marker and don't disturb a stable mate of the favourite Sorrento is the leader and down towards the 800 don't disturb from Verino in third position on the inside Gartas from San Rosa two lengths further back Sorrento and a half to reasons on the favourites inside and a couple of lengths pursuits still no change in the pattern working along to the 600 and don't disturb the pilot three quarters of a length Verino third is Gartas San Rosa fourth and Sorrento about to be stoked up fifth second last reasons and pursuits when they sprinted, sprinted up front he couldn't around the corner and straightening up don't disturb
taken on by Verino. About two lengths to San Rosa. A length Sorrento still standing. These leaders a fair start and Verino's gone to the lead. As they come down to the distance, Verino. About a length in front of San Rosa. Don't disturb and Sorrento struggling. But it's Verino travelling sweetly. A hundred to go. Verino little and he goes for it. It's holding San Rosa and Sorrento. And Verino wins the first of all. Ed's Verino winning easily from San Rosa and Sorrento. Followed by reasons with don't disturb pursuits. And Gartas was last. Six the winner, Verino, 683.90. Nine, San Rosa, 260. No third for two, Sorrento. Pair of sixes in the daily double, 37.50. Triple approximates for Adelaide. You need six and one to be alive with 161. 220, the sub. Three and four, 1,101. Five, 367. Six, 550. Seven, 550. Eight's out, 936. With 10, 11 and 12, 1,101. 13, 550. 14, 367. 15, 1,101. 16, 220. 17's out. 18, 1,101 and 19's out. They're trebles for Adelaide. Win and place, one lacing about 742.70. Favourite panoramic lad and they're on their way now. Uh, racing with withdrawn one of the best out. Dropping out of it early musical chimes, flirty bird, northern habit. And withdrawn, looking to lead from Rem Bedeker and Mike Kahuna Kings up there. Golden form next and raging force a little bit wide, but improving its position around Panoramic Lad. And down on the inside is Swords Drawn, then Flirty Bird. Next on the fence is Blue Gum. Musical Chimes back to second last. And Northern Habit at the end of the field. About 1,200 to go. And withdrawn the leader by two lengths to Rem Bedeker. A neck away third, Mike Kahuna King. Two lengths to Golden Form. A length to Raging Force now, one off the fence. Next is Swords Drawn, then Panoramic Lad. One and a half to Flirty Bird, then Blue Gum, Northern Habit wide out, and Musical Chimes is last, about ten lengths off the lead. A thousand metres to travel, and the leader is withdrawn. A length in front, Rembedic is second, looks as if it's away from the rails, because Golden Form is pushing through on its inside. A length back fourth, Mike Kahuna King, Raging Force within striking distance is fifth, and around the outside, Flirty Bird in the red cap, then Swords drawn down on the fence, uh, starting to improve Panoramic Lad as they ran to the home turn. Then came Musical Chimes, Northern Habit going forward in front of it as they bunch up and Blue Gum back to last. But coming around the turn at the 500, withdrawn in front, Rembedica is not far away. Going up third, Mike Kahuna King, Flirty Bird was wider. Rembedica plotting a course towards the centre of the track as they fan now. It's withdrawn in front, Golden Form, Rembedica, Mike Kahuna King. Further out was Flirty Bird, wider Musical Chimes, Swords Drawn running up behind them. It's withdrawn in front, Flirty Bird tackling Musical Chimes, Swords Drawn down to the inside, Flirty Bird in front from Mike Kahuna King musical chimes the outside Flirty Bird Mike Kahuna King Panoramic Lad getting through now Flirty Bird in front Panoramic Lad cutting it down Flirty Bird Panoramic Lad it's going to be close oh Panoramic Lad dived at Flirty Bird on the line I'm not real sure third will be musical chimes and then withdrawn who stuck on well Mike Kahuna King swords drawn they were followed by Blue Gum, who never really got into the race. Golden Form weakened out of it Raging Force Rembedica dropped out and Northern Habit at the tail end Another very close go. Was stride before it's Flirty Bird on the line, not sure. Panoramic Lad diving at it. Had difficulty getting a run at about the 150, but then came hard. And to the post, it's very hard to tell. Photo call for between numbers six and seven. And it looks as if Panoramic Lad is going to get it. I'd suggest here number seven or... Yes, it has. It's got it. Panoramic Lad. Wow, and it's got there by a pimple from Flirty Bird, who was in front everywhere bar on the line. And third, number eight, Musical Chimes, who's only about a neck away. So seven, six and eight, seven, six, eight. Uh, just the narrowest of margins. Yeah, it was, but... Uh, they're all in. Angridge out the outside. Cut for aces, drawn the inside barrier. Lord Oscar in Jabara stands up. Murrinjai, River Wild, they're set. Just waiting on the starter to go up onto his ladder. He does that now. They're boxed, ready to run. Under starter's orders for the last, the gates open and cut for aces down on the inside and Ideal Bid got away well. Out wide was Slimwood and Regal Sunny goes up behind that group. Further back then, Lord Oscar dropping back through the field, followed by River Wild Angry Jet, who's going up to centre field. Injabire is back, second last and spitting image last of all. On settling down as they race down towards the back, they've got about 1,300 to go. Cut for aces the leader, about a length in front of Slimwood. A similar margin, Ideal Bid getting a good run on the inside. A neck off fourth on the outside, River Wild, a length behind the 
those as they race down the back, Angry Jack. A length and a half then came Regal Sunny on the inside of Murrinjai. Further back behind those then in the field, Injabara followed by Lord Oscar, and about three at the tail of the field as they race inside the thousand spinning image. They've got 900 metres to go on the last. Little change in the order where the leader was cut for aces, three quarters of a length in front. Slimwood is running second, followed further back then. River Wild moving to third around the outside of Ideal Bid. A length or so behind those as they race up the side. Uh, we had Angry Jet followed then by Regal Sunny down on the inside. And further back in the field then came in Jabira. Murrinjai about centre field. Well back behind those, Lord Oscar second last. And two off then, Spitting Image last of all. As they leave the back and race up towards the turn. A good race coming on now. Cut for aces, joined by River Wild on the outside. Then Slimwood followed by Ideal Bid waiting for a run on the rails. Going around the outside, Angry Jet is on. And also running on very well in the pale green was Murrinjai down the outside. And further back behind those, Regal Sunny at the 200. They cut for Hayes is just in front. Now Angry Jet is running on. And further back behind those, Murrinjai. And getting up along the inside, Ideal Bid is the one. Ideal Bid shot through, hit the lead. And Ideal Bid. Ideal Bid wins the last. About a length over Angry Jet. Now third, cut for Ace is just in front of Regal Sunny. Further back then, Lord Oscar followed by Spitting Image. Murrinjai couldn't go on. Further back then, Injabara. And the last pair across the line, Slimwood in company with River Wild. Good ride by Adrian Late on Ideal Bid, right up along the inside. Number six, the winner, Ideal Bid, ridden by Adrian Late. Ideal Bid, a super ride, never went outside a horse. Number six, Ideal Bid, trained by Archie Turner, ridden by Adrian Late, has won the last race. Now second goes to number four, Angry Jet, Ray Silburn. And number one, cut for aces third, the rider John Scores. So in the last race, the numbers are official, 6-4-1, eight was fourth, Regal Sunny. But that was a perfect ride by Adrian Late, sat in behind the pace on the rails all the way, never went outside a horse in the straight, darted through and won the race going away. Ideal bid, a chested gelding five, by Ideal Planet out of perfect bid, Archie Turner, and the winner raced by Mrs H.M. Branson, and ridden by Adrian Late, Angry Jet second, a brown gelding six, Idol John, out of I'm So Vain, Nugget Wheatley Bega, Ray Silburn, and cut for aces third, a bay gelding six, Ace Gay Cutting Green, Sean O'Donnell, Carla Roo, John scores. Now the winner scored easily at the finish, drew away to score by a length, with a length between second and third. A length, a length, 137.56 the time. Starter is on his platform, Yippee IO will behave. There's one playing up out towards the centre, Burdick and Ladd, and the gates are back. Yippee IO was a shade slow to go from gate number four. He was about centre field when the gates opened. Zanetta on the fence away quickly. Burdick and Ladd and Pastor Express with the orange cap three out. Dashing scene one away from the fence going forward to take up the lead early. Riveting last wide and Kahulawa's the deepest runner. Up to the post. Dashing scene in front of Burdick and Ladd. Zanetta's up against the fence and Kahulawa's whizzing around them but very wide out. One back pastor express, riveting lass is three deep on the fence. She's academic and arcs the way to four wide. One away, Goodwood, Yippee-I-O, fifth last, two lengths to Basics. One and a half break dance and as Vegas at the tail of the field with Valance. Inside the 1800 metre pole as they come up to the next bend and Kahulawa now went to the front. Dashing scene second, the stable mate Zanetta third, Burdick and Ladd three out and fourth and asks the waiter out very deep and the rider is pressing forward. Pastor Express in about sixth position. She's academic on the fence, a length and a half riveting lash, three wide from Goodwood. Yippee-I-O on the fence, two lengths to Basics, three lengths away break dance as Vegas and two lengths for Lance. Down the back, 1,300 metres to go as they race up to the halfway mark of the race in the cup. And Kahulawa made play. Three quarters to a length on arcs the way to now a clear second. Zanetta's had a charm run on the fence. Dashing scene, well positioned fourth. She's academic on the inside of Pastor Express who's in between runners with Burdigan Lad wide. Yippee-I-O's awkward.